it is me and this is day four. What's different about day four, five, and six is we don't have that 90 second rest between exercises. So we do exercise one, exercise two, exercise one, and exercise two, then you rest after that's all done. So it's a little bit harder um, because there's no rest period. Also for illustrative purposes, I'm gonna try to go heavier on my weights, which again makes it more challenging for me to talk. So you don't get my charming banter, but you will see me struggle a little bit because I'd like to demonstrate again what it looks like to actually do an effective weightlifting routine. Hopefully I won't break my form. Hopefully I'll just struggle enough to show you what the struggling means. So, and again, it doesn't matter what weight I'm using. If you think my weights are so heavy, it's inaccessible for you. It's about you and it's about me. We're different people. On the flip side, if you're looking at me and being like, oh my God, she's doing that with 10 pounds. She is such a wimp. Awesome. But that's where I feel it. And what matters with weightlifting is what you feel, not what sounds cool. So don't be cool. Just work out and have fun. Okay. We are repeating the first exercises from day one. But again, we're getting rid of that rest period. So the first thing is, what is the first thing? First thing is the dumbbell rows. And then we're going to do push-ups. And again, I'll try to demonstrate some different options, but the dumbbell rows. I am doing them from a squat position. And again, I'm going to try to make it heavier so you can see. So one, two, which like I said, makes it harder for me to chit chat. Three, you'll also notice the heavier the weight, the more slowly you have to move. I always say I'm not going to chat, but then I always chat. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, I always have to chat. I also want you to notice my breath. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So then there is no rest, I'm dropping it down. I'm going to demonstrate the push-ups on a wall. Even though this is a pole, it's still a way to do push-ups. Of course, if you were doing them on the wall, your arms would be wider. But this is a fantastic alternative to doing push-ups that really works well. But you can keep your back nice and flat. You can kind of step back further and come up on your toes. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, next round I'll do it on the floor, but I just wanted to show you 14, 15, right back to the rows. <sighs> Taking a breath, but not resting. Putting it down, ready, begin. 15, 14, 13, really squeezing the elbows in, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, it's getting hard, 7, which means you pull in from the core, 6, 5, 4, Three, nice and slow. Two, one, drop it down, bending the knees, always protecting. I'm gonna do the push-ups on the floor this time. However it works for you is great. Ready, I'm gonna try them this way. One, two, three. Remember, this is a push-up too. Five, so is this, six, seven, so is this, so is this, good, so is this, with a little push, 13, 14, 15, all right, now 
Once you've done those four exercises, you can spend your 90 seconds resting. Next set of exercises are the dumbbell shoulder press and the standing calf raise. Um, you know what, I'm gonna bring over the weight so I can stand on it. If you are moving weights, it always hurts my fingers. Be careful, protect your back, but oh my gosh, it always hurts my fingers, just so you know. Anyway, the overhead press, I'm gonna go a little bit, let's see, we'll try 15. No problem adjusting in between. Ready, go. One, two. Technically, you should be like this. Three, four. Shoulders down. Five. Now, if you want to do any twisting, you can. Seven. Eight. Well, you don't have to. Nine, ten, nice flat back. Eleven, yeah, this is getting hard. Twelve, I'm feeling my shoulders burn. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. No break on that weight on the two by four or just on the floor. 15, 14, 13, 12, look, you can't even see it anyway, 11, that's okay, 10, chest up, 9, pushing through the crown of the head, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Perfect. I can tell I'm going to burn out on this next set, which is going to be great. So 15, 14, just so you can see what struggling looks like. 13, 12, slow on the decline. 11, 10, 9, Eight, it's getting hard. Seven. Six, this is, you can see my form. Five. Four. This is where you should all be. Three. On every exercise, actually. Two. And. Five. Last one. So that is a good place to be. Go ahead and drop it down here. Do you love my dogs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes I lose my balance. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, yay! Round two complete, protecting the knees to drop everything down. I am coming down to check the book, but really when you're cooling down, you should stay up and not sit right away just because your blood is already going, your blood pressure's up, and you don't just wanna stop. So I'm moving right into the third superset bicep curls and overhead tricep extensions. Okay, remember how I said 20 was a good weight for me? It is, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna go down to 15 because I'm a little worn out with some of the other exercises. Okay, yesterday I think it was, two days ago, we did hammer curls, which is the thumb up. This time, it's bicep. So, you have a little slight bend in the elbow, you've got the palms forward, the chest is up, and 15. Yes, I'm glad I went lighter. 14, 13, 12, no swinging, 11, it's just a nice squeeze, 10, 
nine, eight. See, it's getting hard on eight. Seven, six, five, suffering, four, but in a good way, three, two, and big breath, one. Yay! Overhead tricep extension. You know, I am going to go with 20 just to see how that does. Elbows are in by the ears. Stomach in, right here. 20. 19. Now this one I have the right arm on the top. So the next time I'm going to put the left arm on the top. 15, just to provide balance. 14. 13, look I was rushing. 12. 11, 10, I'm going to go sideways, 9, 8, so I'm pushing with both arms, 7, but that right side is a little bit dominant, 6 because of the grip, 5, 4, 3, getting hard, Perfect. Okay. Going back to the bicep, because I warmed up on the 20, I did the 15, I'm going to go down to 12 and see how that does. Don't be afraid to change your weights. Oh my gosh. Change your weights whenever you need to, okay? Nothing magical about sticking with the weight. Go up or down, it doesn't matter. Two. Three. Not stopping between sets. Makes it a little more cardio. It's not actually cardio, it's anaerobic, but still it gets the heart rate going up. Eight, nine, and this is pretty easy. 10, but for the second set, that's okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And also, this is the limit of a home gym. I've got 12 and I have 15. I don't have 13 or 14. That's just where I'm at. All right. Even though 20 is going to be hard, I'm picking it up. And like I said, I'm starting with the left arm on top and the right arm on the bottom to counter what I did before. And I'm going to go sideways. 15. 14. Jaw parallel to the floor. 13. Especially here. 12, 11, stomach in, shoulders down, 9, getting hard, 8, 7, I'm going to push through, 6, but if you need to stop and change weights, do it, 5, look, I just hit me in the back of the head, 4, 3, Two. Notice how I go slow, but I don't throw it up there. I just control it. Now it's the rest between. Oh my gosh, is there one more set or not? Yeah, there's one more set. Dumbbell squats and stiff leg dead, deadlifts. So again, my body is more than 100 pounds. I'm going to try to use heavier weights because my body should be able to go up and down like that. But again, if something starts hurting, please adjust, please change it. I'm gonna grab 20s just to say I did and hopefully I'll burn out on that. <sighs> Might not do deadlifts with 20s, but I'm definitely gonna try squats. And again, notice me fidget, fidget, make yourself comfortable. Nice flat back, I'm gonna go all the way sideways, chest up, shoulders back, and it's gonna be 15. And this is a squat. Good. 12, 11, 10. You can get wider. 9, just not narrower. 8, 
Wrap the glutes around the hip bones every single time. Always keep the knees tracking to the middle toe or the pinky toe. I think this is five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. No break. I'm going to drop it down. Because I like my back, even though I have strong hamstrings, I like my back, and it's hard to do good form in a deadlift, so I'm shortening up that weight. <sighs> nice flat back, 15, and I'm gonna come all the way to there. 14, adjust for what works for you. 13, weight's close to the leg. 12, 11, 10, nine, I'm rushing, eight, yes, I wanna get it done, seven, but try to just be present and feel what's going on, five, four, three, two, one, right into those squats. Yeah, I'm gonna bump up the weight. <sighs> Protecting, yay! Here we go. 15, 14, squeeze. 13, opening up the hip flexors at the top. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. And you know, even though it's heavy, it's not that I'm killing my legs. Four, three, two, one. Bending the legs, drop it down. Moving to my lighter weight. For the deadlifts, this time I'm gonna do a shorter range of motion just to show you what that's like. One, two, three, four. You can close or open. Five, six. I'm gonna come up. Seven, eight. You'll notice I'm breathing hard. Nine, they're big muscles. 10, shorten it up a little, 11, 12, knees are soft, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna come all the way up, then bend my knees. Then your last thing, pressing it up, is the two abs. Leg lifts, doo -doo -doo, and crunches without stopping. And I'm not going to put those on the video because you don't need to see that. So, yay! I will see you tomorrow.